Hi there, welcome from the weather desk. Now, this is actually a look at what the weather would look like in 2050. Now, this is very important in terms of climate change and how it's going to affect us here in South Africa. You'll see there'll be places that will be severely impacted, such as uh, the Western Cape province, as we'll be seeing uh, severities of strong winds coming in there and also an increased number of cold fronts also coming in along the Western coastline. And temperatures are also expected to drop, uh, leading to cold weather expected along the Western Cape coastline. We're also expecting most of the time, 80% chance of showers, but in some places such as the Northern Cape Province, hot and dry conditions would be expected there. And you'll see also a similar trend into the Eastern Cape Province as it gets much drier along winter regions as well as into places uh, such as KwaZulu-Natal. But towards the northeastern part, again, summer rainfall might drop, but possibilities of risk factors coming in in terms of uh, severe uh, rainy conditions coming in over short periods of time and also heavy rainfall uh, falling over very short periods of time. This is just an example of what we should expect in 2050. Now you would remember in 2014 lesser chance of rainfall we expected but now we're expecting severe uh, heavy rainfall to come through over the Western Cape province. This is actually in uh, Philippi over the Western Cape as well as into Cape Town and the risk of heavy rainfall could lead to places uh, or could lead to road accidents and could lead to flooding in homes and that could also lead to vulnerable communities being even more vulnerable uh, to the severe diseases. Now these are warnings that would be given out by the South African Weather Service. Now you'll see that there's possible Possibilities of heavy rainfall that I just showed you in just a second. And then again, hot and dry conditions there could also lead to failed fires, could lead to crops also being damaged along the northeastern parts. Again, possibilities of rainfall. And you'll see when you look at the northeastern parts again, the severe rainfall that we should expect them. And these could lead to lots and lots of flooding of tourist areas, lots of economic loss along the Limpopo regions as well as over some parts of Mozambique. If you look at the Mozambique channels, the low pressure cells that are expected there those could lead to heavy rainfalls. These are roads being blocked off because of the flooding that's taking place. Just have a look at the track already flooding all the way towards the northern parts, or rather the highest uh, point of the track. And as we move on, you'll see uh, we're expecting most of these roads to be flooded along the borders of uh, Limpopo as well as of Mozambique, causing heavy and heavy financial losses into most places. And you'll also do expect the possibilities of this to continue into some parts of Mpumalanga, extending into the Crocodile River. And that could also lead to some severe biodiversity losses into those parts. As you know, in 2014, the average rainfall is around 1,000 millimeters per year. But we could see 1,000 millimeters in just a month. We could even see a whole lot more in just a rainy season. Sometimes you'll even expect the severe dry conditions along the Northern Cape Province as well into some parts of uh, the Northwest province. Okay, that was your look at 2050, what the weather would look like as a result of what climate change could do to South Africa. Thank you very much, enjoy. Climate change is affecting the weather everywhere. It makes it more extreme and disturbs established patterns. That means more disasters, more uncertainty. We can reduce the risks by cutting global greenhouse gas emissions and building low carbon economies. Let's work together to make our societies safer and more resilient. Please join me in taking action on climate change. Thank you.